Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to go through our part of our summer plan. So before we return to school in September, of which we have some more plans, which I will release next week, we want to give you a heads up on what we are planning to do. All being well, making sure, obviously, that nothing changes in terms of social distances between now and the summer holidays, obviously. Um, so what we are planning to do is run a summer school. Uh, some of our pupils have not attended since March. And for some of our pupils, coming back is going to be really, really scary. Um, coming back earlier will give us an opportunity to prepare the children to do our transition work. Um, it's really important that we do a lot of work on mental health and well-being and just making sure that the children are ready to come back into school. It will also give us an opportunity to practice our social distancing and new school rules, uh, routines, sorry, school rules will stay the same. So the plan, we plan to run over a course of two weeks. So your, your child will be allocated one week of the two. The school will be split in half over the two weeks. There won't be any provision for the F1s. We don't think that that's necessary at this stage. They are so young um, and we appreciate that they'll be going into F2, but it's it's not it's not just it's not right just yet. The current year six obviously don't need to attend. We have uh, things planned for them before they before they leave because they will be going into year seven. Um, they will form a class bubble in pressure preparation for September. The guidance coming out so far is that class bubbles, as they have been, have been fifteen. They will uh, increase to thirty. They have worked really, really successfully so far. We have really, really strict rules about crossing bubbles. That just does not happen. Um, for example, if I walk down the corridor, I have my face shield. Staff are constantly cleaning. So the bubbles will increase, but what that will allow us to do is prepare for that and get the children ready for September. Children will be able to see their friends and their teachers again, I think, which I think is the most important thing. Children will practice our new routines and we will explain all the social distancing and having half the pupils back will give us a, a feel for how the school will run. We don't want to come back in September with 340, 350 pupils and have not had a, an opportunity to practice. Um, we will also begin our recovery curriculum, which is packed full of lots of exciting activities. And we want an additional week so that we can prepare the children, get them ready. And it's not going to be such a shock come September. So the focus will be on preparing for the new term. So we'll learn how to social distance. We will address any pupil worries and anxieties. We will have uh, fun and we'll catch up on all the great things that we would have normally done in this last term, uh, such as PE, drama, art. We want it to be a fun week, but most importantly, it will give the teachers an opportunity to assess where the pupils are before we come back in September. I think that will give all the staff that a little bit of extra time and a, a, a head start. And I think that's going to be really important for a smooth transition into our plan for September. So what does this mean for you as a family? Um, we're moving one of our teaching weeks into the summer holidays. So that means we will have an additional week at October half term. I will release all the calendar, etc. moving forward. This means that children will be required to come to one of the two weeks, and I will give that information about shortly. If you have a holiday booked, all we ask is that you let the school know you are unable to attend. No fines will be issued. We appreciate as, you know, things change and holidays become possible. You may have it booked and you may not, you may not have an option and you might have to go. It's the same for staff. Staff have got holidays booked, and that's one of the reasons we're doing it over two weeks because of staff availability. Please don't cancel holidays because of this, um, unless you're can unless obviously your holiday is cancelled. Some parents will have uh, children in both weeks just because, unfortunately, that's unavoidable. It's down to staff availability. Uh, some people are on holiday. While it is compulsory for your child to attend one of the weeks, we know that you'll still be worried about the virus. So it's really important that you speak to a teacher, you, you phone me or Mrs. Brown or speak to the office because we don't want children to lose out. This is an actual teaching week, so pupils have to attend school for 39 weeks of the year. This will be one of those 39 weeks. So we are saying it's compulsory. 
However, we know that you will be anxious and you may not want to send your child. Please, please contact me or the teacher or the school and we will try and put something in place for you. Um, I'll just go back on. In terms of social distancing, we have been running bubbles. Effect well, since the, the start of this, we've been running bubbles effectively. They have been really, really successful. The staff have got really good routines now. The children don't cross bubbles. The playground is separated. Children have separate lunches. They eat their lunch in their classroom. Then they go out to play. Staff, lunch staff are allocated a bubble. So it's worked really, really well. And I'm really pleased with how that's gone so far. And because we will be coming back in September, unless anything changes, and the bubbles will inevitably be bigger, I just feel that this is an opportunity for us to practice for the children to ease into it gently and still be able to then have a little bit of a break in between the start of the new year. I'm just really conscious that the pupils in year two, three, four and five have not been in school. And that could be, it's nerve wracking for teachers and, and staff. And so it'll be even worse for, for, for pupils. So what we are proposing is we begin in the 10th of August, uh, 1SF, 3CW, 4NS, 6SC and 6CB. So their children will go back to their original classes, apart from year six, obviously, who, uh, apart from year five, sorry, who will become year six. So you, they will get to meet their new year six class. Um, but with the year five teachers there as well, just because we're really conscious that year six need that transition ready for SATs. Again, we still don't quite know what's happening with SATs next year and all that will be released, I suppose, uh, I should imagine in, in the new term. Senior leaders will be myself, Mrs. Gibbs, Mrs. Educate and Mrs. Vickers. The following week, which will be the second week, we begin in the 17th of August, it will be both foundation classes with Miss Gray. Uh, one, two, uh, SA, 12LS, 3JA and 4LA. Mrs Brown will be the senior leader in charge, so I won't be in that week. Miss Arnold, Miss Smith and Miss Annandale. Um, and then other bits and pieces, the school will prepare the children for September, so it's really, really important that they attend. It will be a non-uniform week and we are going to make it as fun as possible. The children had a great time on the last few weeks. They've been having water fights, all the stuff that you know we would love to do with everybody that we've not been able to. And I think it's really important that we have some form of catch up before the beginning of term. Lunches um, are not yet confirmed. I just We just need to work with the catering company. Regardless, it will be pack ups if they make them, but we, we will look at that. And I just really, really hope that you'll be able to support us in this plan. And all the way through this, the staff have been amazing and they have, it's, you know, it's, it's down to them that we're able to do this. They're giving up part of their holiday, um, you know, and they're really tired, but they still want to do this for your pupils, for your children, our pupils. So I'm sure there's a lot to digest there. If there are any questions, please contact us. I will release a letter confirming all of this. Um, and there will be some more information released next week regarding the start of the summer term. And the summer school will make more sense when you see our plan for the, the start of September. So thank you very much. Thank you all for being a brilliant community. Thank you for being amazing children. And thank you again to the staff for allowing this plan to happen. So thank you very much. And I shall speak to you next week.